There's going to be an SDG summit in September. It's very important that human security be included in the statement. The Japanese, oh, I sit in the, uh, I'm a permanent observer, so I'm uh, a participant in the general debates of the General Assembly and in the working group working on the statement. So I'm personally familiar with the debate. Uh, the Japanese have offered language on human security and it has been objected to by several states, mainly Russia, and that is worth very much worth uh, attention to uh, to bring them into the fold, understand why they're objecting. The other point that I want to make is that uh, SDG 16, the elements of good governance, are unique amongst all of the SDGs in that that one rests on a legal foundation of the United Nations Convention Against Corruption, which has 189 ratifying nations. And therefore, unlike the political commitments of many of the SDGs, there's actually a legal basis for that one. So there's two elements in terms of addressing good governance and corruption and the values inherent in those, uh, in those principles, which is that without good governance, none of the SDGs can get implemented. Uh, and, and it is the only one of the SDGs in which you have a legal imperative to fulfill it. The last thing I want to point out is that because of COVID, <clears throat> excuse me, because of COVID and the war, as a practical matter, the major countries don't have the money nor the political currency to raise the money to fulfill the SDGs. At the same time, according to the Secretary General, each year about 5% of the legitimate economies of the world are, are stolen uh, by corruption, Ill illegal illicit financial transactions, human trafficking, tax avoidance, and tax evasion. So a focus, <clears throat> a focus on obtaining those those funds for the purposes, we're talking trillions of dollars, and a mere portion of those could fulfill the SDGs. The only place, the only place where there is money that's really available that could fulfill the SDGs would be in a heightened effort at focusing on, uh, on anti-corruption. Without that, there just it, we're, the SDGs uh, and the principles of them could turn to cynicism and just you know, sentiment, idealism without practicality. So we are calling, I, I'm representing the International Anti-Corruption Academy in the UN, and we are calling obtaining those funds to fulfill the SDGs, the integrity dividend. The peace dividend that we had expected at the end of the Cold War was not forthcoming. So we are calling this opportunity to fulfill this vision of the SDGs, which is an implicit human security agenda, no doubt, uh, is the integrity dividend. And I think that that would be very worthwhile. I might ask that WAS take a position on the integrity dividend. That would be uh, where we can go forward in a practical way of getting yeah. traction.